so we're back here in the mail jeep in the garage it's labor day weekend we're gonna try to get a lot done we have a trip to pick apart tomorrow in search of some new springs we are gonna go with cherokee springs on this build and uh, that should add about eight inches of stretch to the rear which will allow for a lot better wheelbase on this the original wheelbase on a cj5 and a dj5 which this is a dj5 is 80 inches i'm trying to at least get it to like 93 so we're hoping to do a front stretch and a rear stretch using Cherokee Spring. All right, guys, so purely winging this, right? I know that the spring perch is going to come out here. So I'm just going to line up with my rough cut that I already did. I know I want this to at least be that wide. Yes, these are paint markers and expos because it's what I have. But I also wanted to have kind of a cool flare look to it and not just be such a chop. So I'm going to take... Just angle it. I don't know what size angle that is. I don't know. Maybe close to 30 degrees or something cool. And uh, we're going to cut this. Just like that. I'll wear my spring perch here. It'll already be underneath it, which will kind of be nice. And uh, it'll have a good shape to it. You can kind of see the original shape here. We're going to do the opposite of that. And do like a little inverted look to it. And uh, that's where we'll add the springs to. I think it'll do really good. We are going to have to box the rear of it though. So next thing's going to be to cut this. All right, guys. So I had to get some safety gloves on and stuff like that. Alright guys, so full disclaimer, right? I am by no means a professional and I will not be grinding this weld area down before I do this. I will be taking the grind until it looks good methodology and uh, I will be oversizing this and then cutting it down because of my inability to be that good. So I'll literally be taking this and Putting it like right about there, tacking it, and getting an idea of if I like it that way or not. Hood keeps falling. It's like but um, I'll take it and I'll weld the whole thing out. Uh, probably in the morning. And our rear bumper is uh. A little sturdier, a little stronger, a little more boxed in, and I'll just do the rear brace after that. But really cool angle. Uh, it probably doesn't show well in the video, but um, I think it's a, it's gonna be a good solid conversion. And uh, we used all recycled materials and quarter inch, so should be plenty enough. That's gonna be it for the project today. Um, we got a lot done. We we got a good game plan for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll finish this up tomorrow when I can really get after it. It's, it's already about 10 o'clock here. And um, we're going to go ahead and just weld this bad boy out in the morning. Uh, we're going to hopefully find some Cherokee Springs. And I've got to hunt down a spring perch, which I need to weld right here. After I brace that, we'll do this side. We'll go to the other side. We'll start cutting uh, bracket tree off the axle and getting it ready for uh, spring over axle setup. And we'll have the rear at least close, semi-close, not really close at all. But that's it for today. Thanks, guys.